well, it's been over a month, and these beautiful Congo Tetras that I picked up from Josh over at Cunningham Tropicals are now ready to come out of quarantine and get moved into their new home. I considered putting them in the, um, in the planted community tank, but I think, I think they're gonna do better overall in this 90 gallon. I think their level of activity and the size that they're at and that, that they will have eventually will be, will be better, better situated in, a, in this larger tank. And I think they'll do fine with, with fish that are considerably larger, but not necessarily aggressive enough to go after them or try and eat them. I think, I think I'll just move them into this 90 gallon rimless aquarium and see how they do here. I think they'll add a lot of, a lot of movement, color, activity. I think they'll be a real nice, real nice addition to this combination of fish right here. I have a big piece of plexiglass on top of this 90 gallon. A little, a little bit awkward to work with it, but I'll just shift it over and I'll just catch the fish, fish with this giant net that I have and, uh, and just move them from here to here. It'd be a very simple. The aquariums are kept at the same temp, so there's no real acclimating, uh, no, real, uh, no real shock in bringing them over and just dumping them, dumping them into their new home. A lot of the fish are hiding, wondering what's going on. Little bit of food, little bit of food will get him out. Yeah, here they come. Did someone say pellets? Yeah, I think they're gonna do great in here. So there you have it. Congo Tetras get a new home into the 90 gallon rimless. And of course they're gonna get larger, bulkier. Some of the males are already pretty spectacular. Blue Congo Tetras. Love the uh, fins. And if the uh, Buenos Aires Tetras or the SAE, if I catch them nipping at all at the uh, Congos, they'll get pulled out and get put back. They'll get put in that 29 gallon where I was quarantined the Congos. But in the meantime, that 29 gallon is now open. And so I might just use that as a quarantine tank for uh, for some African cichlids that I'm hoping to get from uh, Josh. Think a little bit more here. This is a blend of about five different foods. There's extreme, there's North Fin, there's Sarah. There's a whole variety of stuff in here. I've got a little hole drilled in the top of this, so I have to use this little, little funnel. Yeah, there are a few fish I'd like to add to this collection, like a big spot, a Nimbochromis linny, maybe, uh, Autopharynx tetrastigma, maybe a Buchochromis notatania. 
let me know in the comments what you think I could add to this collection. They get along pretty well right now, so I certainly don't want to disrupt the piece too much in this tank. But uh, I'm certainly up to adding a few more fish. This tank could certainly accommodate it seven feet across, over 30 inches from front to back, 300 gallons. So yeah, I think uh, a few more fish would be fine in here. I also have these beautiful albino acaras that I picked up from Dan's. And eventually I think they will be moved out of this 55 gallon, 55 gallon planted tank and also brought over to the 90 gallon. Of course, they're gonna be putting on some good size and are gonna need more space. I love it when that oddball hangs on the wall like that. Such a funny looking fish. These uh, neon rainbows that I have currently in this 29 gallon planted tank will eventually go over to that 55 gallon planted. So probably around the time I take those uh, acaras out of there, those albino acaras and move them to the 90, I'll probably move these, uh, these, these neon rainbows in, into that 55. They seem to be doing well in here. Not sure where, I'll, where where this little eel will end up. This little zigzag eel, it'll probably end up in the 90. I mean, they can get, what, 10 to 15 inches? Really cute guy, seems to be liking his life here in the, in the 29 gallon planted. So there you have it. The Congos have a new home and things are moving along in the fish room. Will this ultimately be a discus tank? Again, I know some of you keep asking about that and I really, I'm just taking my time and uh, that is the long-term plan. Either that or create an entire new tank dedicated just to discus, we'll see. We'll see where I go. But for now, Congos look good. They look happy. Nobody's trying to eat them. And that's the update. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.